So today we're gonna have one of the most iconic Korean dishes. It's called pudechige, or army base stew. This is a bizarre dish. It has hot dogs and spam and ground beef and instant noodles. It has an amazing history, how the dish was invented and how it became popular. So we're gonna go try it at this restaurant called Tanzongza in Dallas. Let's go. This is pudechige. This is Korean army stew. It is one of the most iconic dishes in the Korean canon. What they do is they start out with an anchovy and a vegetable broth here, then they add all the meats. When you make this dish, it's actually pretty easy. You just do all your prep and then you have a soup base, you add a little bit of seasoning and you just add the ingredients, bring it out and you finish it on the table. Ooh. Wow. So good, look at this, this is amazing. After the Korean War, the, the, the country was, was ravaged and, and poor, and people were hungry, they needed uh, food, and, and meat was hard to come by. But they had gotten word that the base had a lot of food. In fact, it had so much that a lot of the American uh, servicemen were throwing food away. And some of that food was canned goods that were shipped over from the US. So that included spam, that included sausages and hot dogs. But of course, to make it more palatable, they're adding some kimchi and some vegetables, making to a stew that, you know, you, you wouldn't think, oh, these, these meats came from the trash. So this is like, a, this is a real trash dish that, that really uh, came out of necessity, came out of the war. You know, at first glance, like, this is a really, really weird dish. Uh, kind of unappealing if you if you don't like spam and, and and hot dogs and ham like canned ham and of course there's a uh, Korean instant ramen noodles, which is great. It's very weird. It doesn't look traditional at all. Mm. So incredible! It's like this onslaught of flavor and spice and savoriness. What I really like about this version, they put ground beef in here. It gives it just an incredible savory richness, almost like a fattiness. And then with the <clears throat> the ramen noodles in there, some of the starch comes out and it thickens a little bit. So it has this almost like um, like like a, like a bowl of really thick, fatty Japanese ramen, except that because of the red chili flakes and the red chili paste and the kimchi. Man, this thing is just so intensely just Korean. Like, it's just like with this incredible proclamation of like, this is Korea. And yet like the, the, the spam and the, the hot dog and really the part, the trash parts of it that give it, you know, a little more heft and, and, and it fills you up. The hot dogs and the spam, like I don't, they don't really bother me. I obviously like hot dogs and I love spam. They, they give this kind of gentle almost a depth of flavor that's a little little manufactured. And the kimchi does a very nice job of balancing it out, making sure it's not too heavy. Just a lot of those fermented flavors just leaches out into that soup. Both of my grandparents, uh, before they met, um, they fled North Korea and they were war refugees. I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for um, that conflict and the resulting immigration from that. So it's, it's an interesting reminder to, to look at Pudechi again, think I can celebrate where we are and where we've come and, and my grandparents immigrated here f to give me a better life, to give me um, a place in this country. Uh, so yeah, I remember them as I, as I enjoy this dish. Thank you so much for watching K-Town and if you wanna see more of my videos, click right here.